Hi guys. Well, happy Thursday. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I haven't in about 30 years. Um, so, yeah, it's another holiday, American holiday based on a lie. And a lie, well, covers the tragic truth. And I can't celebrate it. So, I wish you all a very happy Thursday. And for all of you who still have your home, are able to pay your heating bills, and have family, regardless of how dysfunctional they are, that you still have family. And, um, yeah, your home wasn't flooded out or burned up. I really hope that you think about what you have and also keep in mind what's happening to an awful lot of Americans. And to those who have lost a lot and don't have family and are living the consequences of this evil, I am so sorry. I know what it feels like. And it's not a very nice way to live life. I am living yet again with toxic fumes in my apartment. I posted a video a couple of months ago talking about this apartment complex. I was going to do an update and I told a lot of people that I was going to do an update and here it is months later and I apologize for it being so late. Um, I'm not myself anymore. I'm really not. And so I do apologize to emails that I've not been able to respond to or comments or things that I've said and I've not been able to do. I am not myself. Um, one of the cats is going a little bonkers. Anybody in, I don't know, North Carolina, South Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee, Florida, North Florida, Georgia, if you want to adopt two great cats, could you leave a comment below? I would have left and stayed in my car. That's how bad. And I'm chemically sensitive. So, heart palpitations, feeling very shaky. My eyes are killing me, my nose is killing me, my throat is killing me. And this is how I'm going to have to live for about two weeks. The apartment behind me, they polyurethaned and they left the windows closed. So all of the fumes are coming right in to my apartment. Uh, what are you doing? That's new. He hasn't done that. Well, that's Buster who is the coolest cat. He's got quite the personality. And the other, I don't want to separate them, Bandit, still acts scared of other people. So patience would be needed. Love and care is demanded. I bring them to a shelter. They'll be split apart. And I'm not even sure I could foresee them sitting in a cage for a long time. Buster is kind of like the ordinary black cat with a white chest, bandit, orange. But even bandit, you know, would uh, still kitten-like, but I could foresee the shelter, bringing the kitten in, and 
she trying to get away from them. So, look. Um, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Do you see him? All right. Um, but I can't leave because of the cats. And I should have immediately looked for... Well, I did, actually, and I couldn't find a place for them. Someone said they could put them in a store or something for temporarily, and I could see them sitting in cages in that store. I believe quality of life is important. Not that you're just keeping the life alive. So, I also fell in love with them, and I started paying the pet security. So, in that video that I posted a couple of months ago, no, I can't afford anything, but I paid the pet security. Then I'm told, via text, get rid of them. People are so mean here. Get rid of them. Um, no longer allow pets in studios. I would never have moved into a place, even though I couldn't afford and didn't have the physical health, for pets. Pets have always been my family. So I would never have moved into a place. I ignored it. I believe I'm grandfathered in. My check was cashed. So... But that's the way this place operates. The rules just change. And to tell you the truth, this is no way to live. I'm constantly... There's always that fear of, when is the next eviction notice coming? I did get an eviction notice based on lies. Why? Because I was the tenant who was upset about all of the noise during the summer, who complained. The other tenants, I said, let's all go. They wouldn't because they didn't want to get retaliated against. I got retaliated against. But then I was told I could stay. Oh, so the eviction. Real legitimate reason, right? No, it was based on lies. That's how they were all here. Lying, not giving a shit about anybody, doing things where people actually are really they suffer the consequences. But the people who do them, they don't care. They go on living. Oh, it's hard to live this. And whatever affect you're um, picking up, a lot of it is because of how I'm feeling. I really don't feel well. And I feel drugged. Um, Oh, I thought that was Bandit. Nope, that's another kitten that came in. Bandit's sister. That's Bandit. All right. So, um, and living like this day after day now is going to be hard. I am, I'm too sensitive to this stuff. So, yeah, I'll do the driving. I'll, uh, are you Bandit? This is Bandit. Bandit. Bandit, Bandit. Now, patience will be needed in order to get to this point. For some reason, I don't know, she felt completely safe with me. 
but not yet safe with others, right? Give her some treats, she'll love you. Um, but, you know, look, I, I, can't, I can't do the fighting, I can't do the, the constant, you know, what's next, what is going to happen next. I can't stop caring about these cats, these feral cats. Um, I'm not cut out for this world. <laughs> Did I mention that I called the property manager asking if she could get the maintenance guys to open up the windows in the apartment that was renovated in polyurethane? Get the fumes with fans going that way. She texted back. I texted Jose. I just went over. The windows are still closed. I'm tired of being ignored and disrespected. I asked for a, uh, after I got to hear that I could stay. All right, you're not being evicted. I asked for it in writing. I was told I would get it. I never got it. That's how people act here. This is not the way I've ever lived, and it is very hard. Um, especially when the place is like... The whole apartment complex. I said in the video earlier, uh, or a couple of months ago, that somebody said it's going ghetto. Wow, is it? It really is. It looks like crap. Funny, they had that lawnmower going six days a week here from March to like the beginning of October. And now the leaves, they don't even care to pick them up. The leaves are piled high all over the place. I had roaches for four months. I think they're finally gone had the exterminator in here six times. Wow. So, um, I do need to find them a place. You know, so it's Thanksgiving. And I was thinking today, what now we have Black Thursday night or something? Black Friday? I was thinking, God, if everybody would just, just this year, you know, don't do Black Friday. Don't go out and buy all these things you don't need. Don't spend money on your material Christmas. Really make Christmas like how Christ would want it. Help other people in need. Help other people in need. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everybody just did that? <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot now of Americans who are not in their homes because they've been flooded out, their homes, ashes from wildfires. Keep, uh, keep in mind those people and realize what you have.
it's I hear a lot of people complaining about their families but you have connection and family I hear a lot of people complaining about an awful lot of things what if you didn't have any of that none of it what if everything was ripped from you your home the place that you've always lived no more family no more friends nothing you can have your car no job your health so bad you can't work you can't sign a lease you're making social security like that doesn't even give you enough to get an apartment and pay your bills there's a lot of you who have an awful lot to be grateful for and I'm not one to say that you should work on your gratitude I am one to say there are a lot of people in need and giving thanks is a good thing giving help to those in need is a better thing so even if you can't forego Black Friday maybe you can just not buy one thing and put that money aside to donate to somebody maybe you can start thinking about what you can do in your own community to get others to help others maybe you could put it out to your family let's not do Christmas the way we've always done it spending an awful lot of money on ourselves and we don't need gifts but there are so many people who need our help so let's let's sit down and think about how we can help others it's an idea so anybody interested in fabulous cats please leave a comment below and I will talk to you soon I am having trouble thinking the toxicity with the frequencies here this was like this pushed me over the edge coming in and smelling the fumes it really it's feels like the last straw this is if it ain't one thing then it's another have a great day tomorrow I hope you really enjoy it Ciao.